Hi there and welcome to a new video. My name is Paul Willems and in this video we are going to track the customer journey with help of Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. Enjoy watching this video. Okay, let's track the customer journey with help of Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. We are going to track the visitors all the way to a conversion. In the first part I'm going to explain you how to do it and in the second part of this video we are going to show you exactly with help of Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager how to set all the statistics to track your visitor. So first of all let's go back to this model that I've created what is digital marketing and what you can see here is when you have set an email an emailing in Mailchimp or you have write a you have written a blog post or you have created the social media article what you want is your visitor to your website but what you actually want is to see where this visitor is coming from and sometimes it is good visible in analytics via the source or media but what we are going to do is to add a campaign name to it so that we can see from what kind of social media or from what kind of digital marketing campaign this customer or this visitor was coming after that what we actually want for this visitor is make a conversion and it would be nice if we can track all the way from the point that this visitor has clicked a link on the email to the website and that we can see how this visitor has made a conversion. So we can do that with two steps. The first step, we are going to track the visitor from the online marketing channel to your website with use of a UTM code. And a UTM code is an extra bit of code after your hyperlink, your link to your website, and we can track the visitors with help of Google Analytics. And the second step is setting a conversion goal in Google Analytics. And a conversion goal is really easy and it helps you a great deal to see what page, what action your visitor took to make a conversion. So on the right side, I have printed three screens. So the first screen is actually a screen of an email with a button on it. It is Dutch, but I'm going to explain to you what it is. So when a person who has gotten this email is clicking on the blue a button on the blue hyperlink it will be transferred to my website and the ultimate goal is when it's on my website then he or she pushes the blue button again and then he or she will download a manual and for me that's a conversion so overall it looks like this when you go to the to the screen acquisition campaign and all the campaigns in Google Analytics you will see this table and this table shows you all the campaigns and what is it that Google Analytics is showing you exactly well it is reading the code from the UTM code here at the bottom of the screen you see a hyperlink to my website and after that there's a question mark UTM code uh, UTM source is Mailchimp and UTM medium is email and UTM campaign is incoming link to Cubus download page. When my website is receiving this kind of links from other websites, so somebody clicks on an email and he's visiting our website, Google Analytics can read the information from it. So it can say, well, I have got two persons from an, an campaign, from an incoming link to the Cubus download page. That's what it says. And on the right side here, and this is actually also step one. And on the right side here, you can see that this person has made three conversions. So he has been downloading the manual for a Cubus. And that's actually step two. So in this screen, you can see where the customer or where the visitor has come from and what he has done to make a conversion. And this is actually the most important screen, how you can track the customer journey. Because if a person receives an email with a hyperlink, and he is in the awareness or consideration phase. And by clicking the link on the email, he's really considering. So he is going to my website. And when he's on my website and he decides to download the manual, so he's clicking the link download manual cube, Cubus, then he will make a conversion. So this is an important screen. And how does it look? Well, step one, if a person is clicking a link from an email to my website, then this part will be filled in Google Analytics. So measuring the incoming hyperlinks using the UTM codes. And this code is be written from the hyperlink UTM campaign. And the second part, when he's making a conversion from my website, that's a goal 
a goal to measure a conversion within Google Analytics. So once again, the visitor has come to my website and this screen can be accessed from acquisition campaign, all campaigns within Google Analytics. So here on the left side, you can see all the campaigns. So the incoming hyperlinks and on the right side, you can count all the goals and you can see on this page or from this hyperlink, we had two users from which one was, no, oh no. So here we had two users, one new user, and these three people have made totally four sessions and those visitors have made three conversions. So this is the theory. And now we are, I'm going to show you how it really works, how you can set up UTM codes, how you can track emails uh, and how you can track downloads from your website. A conversion here might be a visit on one page, but a conversion might also be downloading a manual, which is the case in my part. And that's actually the same when you have a hyperlink to an external website, to an affiliate website where you can make money. So if you have a hyperlink to let's say Amazon or ball.com, then you can track this external hyperlink by setting a goal on an email. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you, but I don't do it with a conversion to a uh, affiliate, but for a download from a manual. And that's actually exactly the same. So here you can see my small document that I've created and wh where I've set all the important information. So here you see source, medium and campaign name. And those three statistics you need to put in the UTM code. So a source that can be Blogger or MailChimp or Facebook or uh, a, a news website or a Twitter or YouTube. This is actually kind of a brand name that you are going to use. Secondly, there's the medium and a medium that's the platform from which your visitors are coming. So it might be email from sending emails. It might be social media. It might be advertising, but it might also be social media advertising. And a campaign name, that's just a campaign name that you are going to use for your entire campaign. And it might be good possible that you use UTM codes, for instance, what I say here for MailChimp and for Blogger. So the source and medium should be different, but the campaign name can be the same for both hyperlinks. It is totally fine to use a campaign name incoming link to Cubis download page for, let's say, MailChimp and Blogger. Because what is nice to do, if you have a digital marketing team and you set a digital marketing campaign for a certain week, it, it might be good possible that one is working on email, one is working on social media, the other is working on generating backlinks, and another uh, colleague of yours is working on, on ads, on Google ads. So you can all use different source and mediums, but you can all four of you can use the same campaign name. And it, that might be spring campaign um, week 13. So here below, I have showed you two examples of links with UTM codes. So what does it consist of? I'll take this one. It consists of the original hyperlink where I want to link my document to. So let's say I've sent an email to people and I want to point them to my website or I've created the social media messages. Uh, so, or, or if I've created a social media message with a hyperlink to my website, then this is the hyperlink to my website. Followed by a question mark and then followed by all the UTM codes. And what it says, first of all, UTM source, that's blogger, and UTM medium is social media, and UTM campaign is incoming link to Cubis download page. Any percentage 20 sign, that's just a space. Well, mistakes have been made quickly if you just write it down like this. So I got something special for you, and that's a website that's really, really helpful. And the website is called gadevtools.appspot.com. But simply do a Google search on campaign URL builder. And then here you can see easy fields, type in your website URL, where you want to point your visitor to, type in your campaign source, which is blogger in my case, type in social media, uh, which is the campaign medium, and type in the campaign name, and that's the incoming link to Cubis download page. And here at the bottom 
it's going to generate automatically a UTM hyperlink for you. And what you also can do is press this button, then it will shorten your link to a bit.ly link, which is really, really handy. So what I can do is I can just copy this hyperlink and I can go to MailChimp. And this is the email I've created. And what I can do is from this hyperlink, I can uh, add this hyperlink. So I can change this hyperlink. And when I press this hyperlink, I'm going to my website. And if you look at the bottom left side of my screen, you can already see the long hyperlink, which is below there. And that's the hyperlink I've just generated. And I've written it down here, but it is, so never place a hyperlink like this in an email. But this is just to explain to you what the hyperlink looks like. And the same goes for Blogger. Um, this is a blog I've created, really, really bad. And if I'm going to uh, view, or let's actually edit the blog, that's, that should be a little bit better. This is the blog. And when I change the blog, then you hear you can fill in a address. And this is the link from the blog to my website. So that's gonna be a great backlink. And this link contains the UTM code, as you can see here. Really, really bad blog, but it's just to explain to you how the UTM links to my website work. So Blogger is an external website, and the idea is to backlink people from there to my website. And with use of UTM codes and uh, UTM campaigns in the code, I can track the customer. So how does it look like? So here I'm on, on my website, and if I go to acquisition, campaigns, all the campaigns, then I can see here, incoming link to Cubus download page. So if a visitor receives my email and this visitor is clicking on the email, then it will go to my website. And you can see here in the top, Google Analytics is reading this URL and it's saying, well, I can see there is a campaign. So it will count the number of uses for my campaign. And this is actually the first important step in tracking your customers along the customer journey. So the second step is tracking the conversion. And a conversion can be a, sim a single page. So if you have a web shop and somebody has made an order on your shop and he's visiting your thank you page, that might be a conversion because you know that this person has bought something and has made a conversion. But in my case, it is a little bit different. This is a conversion for me. If I press this blue button, then I can download the manual, how to do the Rubik's Cube, and that's a conversion for me. So that is what I want to track. And it's a little bit harder because I'm tracking a click on a hyperlink here. And for that, we need Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to explain to you how to set an event in Google Tag Manager and create a goal from an event. So first of all, we are going to Google Tag Manager. So the first thing we need to do is to activate the preview mode. And by activating the preview mode, we can see on our own website, if I press reload, then you can see that I will get a split screen. And in the split screen, I can see all the tags that have been fired. And I, I need actually a new tag that says, press the blue button here. And I go now back to my document, my preparation document. So I have a category here and it is Dutch because this manual is the same as the Dutch manual that I've made for my YouTube site. But uh, handleiding is actually manual. So it says download manual Cubus. And this is actually the name and the category name and it's really, really important. So I'm, I'm going to copy this one. I'm going back here and then I create a new tag. And then I say new. And the name of the tag is download hot lighting cubus. So download manual cubus. And then I configure a tag and it's gonna be Google Analytics. And instead of a page view, I need to track an event. The category name, which is really, really important, that's download hot lighting cubus. Please remember this name. The action, you can leave it empty, but you can also fill in something here, uh, like page URL. And then I scroll down, and then the Google settings variables. So that's the variables of Google Analytics. If you don't have the 
if you don't have set the Google Analytics variables yet, you need to track in here, you need to fill in here your Google ID. So that's the ID which starts with UA. And then we need to add a trigger. So by pressing this button, we can add a trigger and we need to set only the clicks on the link. So how does it work? If I go here and I press shift and then I press the blue button here, And when I press on link click, and then I will press variables, then I can see every single detail, detail that has happened. And here I can see click URL. And the click URL goes to this hyperlink. So to my download manual. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to my handy page. And what you can see, the entire URL is actually the one here above. So here is an enter, so a white space, and that's not right because your link will not work. But this is the actual, actual hyperlink that it's going to here. So it's important that I select this one, right mouse click, copy, and then I will go back to Google Tag Manager. I will add a new trigger. And the name of the trigger will be again, I'm going to name it the same. So download Handleiding Cubus. We'll paste it here. And I'll add a new trigger. And that's going to be just links. And I'm going to say not all links, but some links. And the links that has the click URL. That's what we just saw here. The click URL must be this hyperlink. So let's copy the hyperlink here. And I'm going to go back to, to Google Tag Manager. And then I say the click URL equals this URL. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to save this one. And I'm going to refresh it. If you refresh your Google Tag Manager, it sends all the tags again to your website. So now I'm going to see if it works. So and you need to refresh the page here. So that's what I've done. And now I'm going to, when, I, when I'm going to look here, I can see already my tag here, download Handleiding Cubis, and it has not fired. But when I press Shift, and I'm going to download the, the manual. So I'm going to press the blue button here. And now the manual is downloading. So I'm going to delete this screen. And what I can see now is that my manual tag has been fired. And when I go to Google Analytics now, and I take a look at real time and then events, what you can see is that your event here has been downloaded. And this is actually the event action it has been downloaded. So that worked perfectly. So the next step is to create a goal from this event. So to do that, we're going to, we're going to admin and then goals. And here we need to set a new goal. So we create a new goal and the new goal needs to have a name. So we are going to use the same name again. So please use a different name for your goal. And that's going to be custom. Then we press next and we press paste here. So download manual Cubus, online Cubus. And then you can choose a destination page. So the thank you page from your store or duration. If your visitor has been five or six minutes or a few seconds on a page, page per session or an event. And this is the type that we need to select. And then we press continue. And here at the category, we need to paste the category which we have used in Google Tag Manager. Really, really important that you type in here exactly the same name as you used in Google Tag Manager. You can verify this goal. It will give a number 5.56 because I've used it many times for different videos. And then I can just press save. 
and there is my goal, Cubis Home Dining. So what's happening now? What I've done, and I'm going to show it to you by blogger. So here is a preview of my blog on blogger. So this is an external website and an external marketing channel to my website. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the hyperlink to my website. Pay attention of the bottom left side of your screen. Here is your hyperlink and with all the campaigns and campaign name and the source. So I'm going to press it to my website. And here on my website, I'm going to make a conversion, which is downloading the manual by pressing the blue button. So I'm going to do that. And now I've made a conversion. So what I've done now, I've followed all the steps through the customer journey. It was here, I visited the blog, and from this blog, I was in the awareness of in the, or in the consideration phase. It was definitely a consideration phase when I clicked to my website. And then here, visiting my website, I was on a purchase phase for downloading the manual. And when you go to Google Analytics now, and you go to conversions, and you go to acquisition campaigns, all the campaigns, and let's set the time range for, let's say, 25 till the second and press apply. You can see that I have, here's my campaign name from the UTM code. I had two users, one new user, and those three users have made 14 sessions. And when I select here on the top side, the goals, then I can just scroll down here and select goal six, download hot lighting cubus. And from this goal, I can select all the goals from, from the conversions that I have made. And you can still see zero, and it is zero because it takes one or two days to process the goals for Google. And that's the end. This is the really important screen that you need to use for your tracking, your customer journey with help of Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel.